to make more of an impact on the world who are less uh, inclined to um, compromise. Wolf Warrior 2 was released in 2017 and took China by storm, earning nearly $900 million at the box office, with more than 99% of its revenue generated in the Chinese domestic market. Michael Berry, a professor at the University of California, Los Angeles, says these films are based on Chinese melody films, state-sponsored films invoking nationalist pride. They're often released to uh, correspond with various national holidays, like National Day, and they resonate with various patriotic themes. One of them is the founding of a republic, which was produced in 2009 to mark the 60th anniversary of the People's Republic of China. The Wolf Warrior film franchise is also modeled after 1980s American patriotic action film franchises, such as Rambo and Rocky, where the hero, played by Sylvester Stallone, fights against foreign villains in the name of American democracy and justice. In Wolf Warrior 2, the Chinese hero defends stranded Chinese civilians and defenseless Africans in an unnamed African country. It's, it's also got a colonialist attitude to uh, non-white peoples. And we're just seeing the uh, white savior of American action films being replaced by the Chinese savior in uh, Chinese films. The Wolf Warrior films boast cutting-edge special effects and feature Hollywood actors such as Frank Grillo, who plays Big Daddy, the American villain, in Wolf Warrior 2. He played crossbones in the Captain America films, and so he, he's a direct <laughs> bridge between those two worlds. But it wasn't just Frank Grillo. Also, the action choreographer, uh, I believe his name is Sam Hargrave, he was also the action choreographer for Captain America Civil War and a lot of these big Marvel films. Despite this artistic and technological cross-pollination, the two film industries compete against each other not only in terms of their message, but also in terms of box office revenue. Wolf Warrior 2 surpassed Avengers Endgame at the Chinese box office. It was able to do the same kind of business that an Avengers movie does in one market, and that's the China market, especially with the anti-American sentiment that's been rising since, uh, you know, oh, since the, the, the period that Donald Trump was president. A lot of Chinese audiences have also cooled off about Hollywood. Barry says China's effective handling of COVID-19 has allowed for the Chinese film industry to recuperate faster than Hollywood. He says it has also contributed to the surge of Chinese patriotism. I think what we're seeing with this wolf warrior diplomacy are various diplomats and public figures from the Chinese public sphere or political sphere standing up and saying, we're not going to take this anymore. Enough of the humiliation. China is not your lapdog. We are not going to stand for it. Barry adds that China's funding of Chinese blockbusters could sideline Hollywood experts in the Chinese market. Penelope Pulu, VOA News, Washington.